Now, the government media machine has uh, cranked out the tremendous news that there's to be a consultation exercise to help find a new poet laureate when the present one, Andrew Motion, hangs up his quill next year. The problem might be finding people willing to follow in the steps of Dryden and Tennyson. Ever since Alfred Austin knocked out lines on the illness of the Prince of Wales, across the wires the electric message came, he is no better, he's much the same, it's become a bit like a horrible hat which came as an unwanted Christmas present from some ancient aunt, and worse one which you have to wear in public. However, we have one person who wants the job here in the studio, Murray Lachlan Young, and we also have the current holder, Mr Motion himself. You'd be glad to get rid of this job, wouldn't you? Not, well, <laughs> there are things that are difficult about it, and you're quite right to say that the people who've done it previously have produced a very mixed bag of poems wearing the royal hat and writing those royal poems. But you said yourself only very recently, didn't you, at the Ealing Literary Festival. It's entirely thankless, it's incredibly difficult, it's damaging to your writing. Why would anyone in their right mind want it? Well, I've spent now nearly exactly ten years doing this job, and I don't think in my whole ten years I've ever been so misreported as I was in saying that thing. What I actually said was that there are, sure, very difficult things about doing it, some of which you've touched on. Um, these are difficult. The royal poems are difficult poems to write. There's a difficulty about the reception, because they tend to land on news editors' desks, and news editors, as you know, think there's no story unless they can find somebody who doesn't like the poem. So there's, there's a problem in that respect. Um, there are certain difficulties to do with the way that your life is suddenly made very public, having been more or less private hitherto, but, but, there are wonderful things about it too. If you choose to go about it in the way that I've tried to do, there is a, a marvellous opportunity to, good, to do good for poems. Now, Murray, I think, why do you want the job? Well, I'd like to start by saying I don't think I'm even on the, the laureate radar to start off with. Well, that but I, I, I think it could put you on the radar. <laughs> I think, I Why think, do you want it, though? Well, I think that, uh, that the whole idea of, of, of the laureate um, needs to be updated for a start, and I think it needs to become a more um, media-friendly uh, idea, and possibly, you know, looking at the, uh, the Poet Laureate having their own TV show, giving public performances nice. giving, giving, it, yeah absolutely and giving giving public performances of of, of, of their pieces say for instance well, to, yeah, the, to the to the that's team what you did and many of your predecessors too it's true enough and i spend yeah. as do you a great deal of my life going around festivals yeah. schools etc etc reading poems and, and talking about poems. so i don't i mean i think there are ways in which you could be brought up to to speed but i don't think that, that uh the, the template that now exists for it actually does need very much uh, revision because it's moved from being a courtier-like thing to being an ambassadorial for yeah. poetry type thing. Sorry, with the greatest respect, not a very successful ambassadorial occupation. I mean, when you look at... You know, I looked earlier at the sales of poetry books. Apart from the sainted Pam Ayres, sure. there wasn't a single poetry author, poet, in the top 3,000 books sold last year. I'm not, actually, I'm not surprised to hear that, but, but there's a very interesting counter-argument to make about this, which is to say that the problem might be to do with the delivery of poetry rather than with the appetite for poetry. The Poetry Archive, which is my proudest achievement uh, as laureate, an online library of poets reading their own work, now has every month, every month, a million pages of poetry read on it. I think the problem is not the appetite, but your point seems to hold, if you go into the average bookstore and look at the poetry shelf, which is tiny and uh, upstairs and at the back, and that seems to feed an argument about there not being... Do you think there's a way around I don't. Well, I don't think it's about poetry shelves anymore. I think it's about, I think it's about people looking at screens and people That's YouTubing, right. people saying, look, check this out, have a look at this particular poem, have a look at it, have a listen to it, in the sense of the original um, elements of, of poetry and poetry, poets and travelling poets were the original people who gave, who did your job, who actually handed over the news when people were essentially literate. And if people are, have decided that, that poetry has become this thing which is governed by an elite which they don't want anything to do with, and you've got the, 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 the greetings card at one end and then you've got snobbery at the other. And so I think the idea of, uh, of having a... Uh, a YouTube or a, or a TV angle on a poet laureate, and a poet laureate being able to stand up and say, "This is what's happening," you know, to maybe um, contribute something on on Gordon Brown's terror laws on on freezing Icelandic assets would be very fun. A sort of court jester, maybe. You don't think that, in a way, the poet laureate is rather like you know the old royal limner or whatever they call <laughs> the royal painter. It's just it's just it's just a sort of role in a medium that's kind of past. 
I absolutely 100% don't think that. No. I don't think so either. I, I think there would be a way of going about it which, which bore out what you've just said, but I think the Poetry Archive, again, is a very good example of how it is a, it, it does create the opportunity to get poetry to people who want to read it and listen to it, but frankly haven't been able to often, either because they've been put off it in school for one reason or another, or because, as we were saying, books are not necessarily the best way of delivering it at the moment.